This video is going to give you a crash course in adding captions to your Screencast-O-Matic um, videos. There are three ways that you can add captions to a Screencast-O-Matic video, and I think two of them are ones that you are unlikely to use very often at all. All three of those you get to by clicking on the Captions button, and you can select first captions from file. You will only use this if you happen to already have a captions file either in a .txt or a .sbv or a .srt format. If you do you simply click this and then click start and then upload the file. The other another way to do this is with blank captions. I'm going to select that and then click start. And you can see that Screencast-O-Matic opens up a blank text field with markers at specific points in the video. And I really do not know how it decides where to put those markers. They seem fairly random to me. What I can do though is to click on each one. You see when I hover over it, it turns blue. And then I can listen. This is going to be a short video that I'm creating just for the purpose of showing and at any point I can stop either by pausing or simply by starting to type. And you can see I'm typing my captions in. That's going to be a long and tedious process and I don't know how often you would use it, um, but that's how you would do that. I'm gonna cancel this and show you what is probably the easiest way to do captions, and that is using speech to text. So I click on the radio button for speech to text and I click start. And you can see it'll take just a moment, but uh, this will take Google's speech to text program and it runs the audio through it. And by the time it gets to the end, we have a full script of the video that is somewhat accurate. If you want your captions to be good, there is still going to be some editing work to do and that's what I want to show you here. Especially if it is a video that I myself have created and I have just finished, I can often do a lot of the editing just from memory. This is going to be a short video that I'm creating just for the purpose of showing you how to caption video. That seems pretty accurate. Um, and then I can see here, there's no caption. So I want to listen to make sure that we didn't miss something. Um, if I wanted to, I could do an um in there so that listeners or viewers know that there was something going on there. And then I can keep going. But since I'm going to be creating something and the content really doesn't matter, I may as well show you, you can, but probably saw that something, since I'm going to be creating something and the content really doesn't matter, and what Google text, Google text to speech got or speech to text got was in the contact really doesn't matter. We know that's incorrect. So I'm going to highlight and I can change it. And I can just go through the whole video and listen. Again, I know I didn't say Kemba, I said Canva. Uh, a basic account is free. It, 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 uh, and it catches the spaces there. One thing that I do want to show you, and this is a little hard to do because I did a short video and it actually got things pretty good. Sometimes, especially if you do a longer video, the captions will get off from the audio so that the words that are displaying on the screen do not line up with what the speaker is saying. And that can be really distracting for um, viewers, especially if they rely on those captions. Screencast-O-Matic fortunately provides a very easy way to resynchronize. So I'm gonna use this one as an example. This would create uh, an image that is exactly the size that you need for a banner in Canvas if you are. This would create uh, an image that is exactly the size. 
and let's imagine that I, I noticed that this is off here. What I could do is move my timeline to a specific point, one minute, 23.56. And I know that the next word that I'm going to say there is exactly the size that you, exactly. 123.56, and we'll actually pull that just a little bit earlier. And what I can do is click sync point, and then move my cursor to whatever word I know is the next word and hit enter. And you see that that creates a new one of these little check marks so that I know that at 124, I am correctly synchronized. Um, and that's the way that you deal with the, the problem that occasionally the audio and the text captions get off. Once I have gone through and checked to make sure that all my captions are accurate, that everything is synchronized, I can do a couple of things. I can export my captions as an SRT file. That's the one that I prefer to use because I know it works in Canvas. Um, that will create a file that then when I upload my video to can to um, YouTube, I can go in and click on the option to upload captions in YouTube and upload that file and that will ensure that my captions are correct if I make this a YouTube video. If I am simply going to upload this to Screencast-O-Matic, I do not need to do that. I can just click OK. need to close my sync point here. It's getting in the way. And now I have my captions here that will go with this video on Screencast-O-Matic. You notice that when I play this, the captions are still showing up. $1.99. You can also do, um, that may be a problem, it may not. Um, if I do not want those captions to show by default to all viewers, I can uncheck the captions button and then that will put a closed caption icon on the video and the viewers who want to have the captions can click that to see it. That should give you enough to get started with captions in Screencast-O-Matic. Please get in touch with me if you have questions.